Petersburg metro uh, system. Two explosions in two uh, metro uh, stations are reported, and there are reported 10 people killed. Let's join our correspondent, Sarah Rainsford, who's in Moscow for us. Sarah, tell us, what more do we know? Well, this uh, was uh, an explosion, at least one explosion. There are reports of two explosions possibly on the St. Petersburg metro system. This is, of course, Russia's second city, uh, and this was uh, at least one metro station right in the heart of that city. Uh, now, we understand a number of people have been killed. Uh, one source is quoted uh, on Russian news agencies suggesting that possibly as many as 10 people have been killed and that there could be as many as 30 casualties, uh, people injured uh, in this incident. We know it happened at 2.30 this afternoon here in Russia, uh, so it would have been a fairly busy time on the underground system. We know that President Putin was in St. Petersburg, is in St. Petersburg uh, today. He's there for official meetings. He has been informed. And in fact, he has spoken about what's happened. He said that uh, the uh, authorities, the security forces are working to establish the reasons behind this explosion. Uh, and he says that all reasons, including terrorism, are being considered, but also potentially uh, criminal causes uh, for this explosion. He said that uh, Russia will take all measures to help the victims, and he sent his condolences to those who died, so uh, to the families of those who died. So clearly there are uh, some people who have been killed uh, in this explosion. And are there any eyewitness accounts coming out of St. Petersburg yet? Not that I've seen yet. What we've seen are pictures, we've seen stills, we've seen uh, mobile phone footage from the scene which shows at least one very badly damaged uh, train carriage and a number of very seriously injured people uh, on the uh, platform to the side of that carriage. So clearly an extremely serious incident. And we've seen uh, pictures too from uh, very smoky corridors in the Moscow, in the St. Petersburg uh, underground system. Uh, I think it was fairly early on and these are clearly people who didn't see the explosion because the, the commentary with the footage I've seen uh, is talking about a fire and people look fairly calm. So panic obviously hadn't set in at that particular point. But the emergency services are there. There are fire engines, there are ambulances. Uh, it is a major incident and, and everyone has obviously responded responded. As I say, President Putin uh, has said that uh, they're not excluding the possibility that th this could have been a terrorist attack, but that at this point has not yet been confirmed. And Sarah, while you've been speaking, Reuters is reporting that all St. Petersburg metro stations are now closed. So uh, this is an event that's clearly being taken extremely well, seriously um, for the, from the point of view of safety of passengers. Uh, this is, it is some time is it not since Russia has experienced any major terrorist attack? Should this be uh, proved eventually to be the case? Uh, what's happened now? It is. Uh, there has been uh, an attack in the past here in Moscow on the metro system here, and after that very serious attack, uh, security was increased on the underground here. There are metal detectors uh, on the at the entrance to every uh, train station here. But it has been some time. Of course, since that last attack, uh, Russia has uh, sent its troops, its uh, fighter jets into Syria. It's been fighting uh, on uh, the side of uh, Bashar al-Assad in Syria. Uh, it says it did that to fight against terrorism, to, uh, to fight against uh, its own uh, insurgents here, Islamic insurgents, extremists here in Russia who had been going to Syria to fight there. So there is uh, an Islamist insurgency here in Russia. There have been attacks in the past which have been blamed on those groups. At the moment, we don't know who might be behind this and whether or not, in fact, it is indeed a terrorist attack. But certainly it's a very serious incident. And as I say, President Putin has said that that's one thing that the authorities here, the security forces, are investigating at the moment. OK, Sarah, we'll leave it there for the moment. We'll no, but no doubt be coming back to you uh, very shortly later in the afternoon. And we will, of course, be keeping you all updated with the latest on that attack.